Hey dollies, it's Ken K Fair Bougie Bay, and I'm back again with another video. I want to do a work day with me behind the scenes of a small business owner. Right now, I'm printing out some lip gloss boxes that I made in Cricut. Let me flip the camera so y'all can see. This is a office jet. This is the HP office jet 3830. It prints, faxes, scans, copies, and I don't know what web is, but we can do that. I printed out four, and I'm also recording for my TikTok. Super bright over there, but I like to knock two birds with one stone. So I usually make TikToks. Oh, sorry. I usually make TikToks and I do YouTube at the same time. In order for you to do a project on a computer, you need to send it to a regular printer. TikTok, I'm gonna end that video on that side. This is how I set up my TikToks. Right now, I don't have my, um, the piece that goes in here to hold my phone. So I had to finesse and you gotta make it do what it do. End this video. And I did a time lapse today. Here's a time lapse that I did on my phone. It's loading up right now. Just recording myself working, sending the work that I have on my Cricut to my regular printer. So I'm gonna post this on TikTok. Make sure you're following me on TikTok to see this video. It does it really fast. I don't even know how long the original video was, but it did the video out to 30 seconds. That took a lot. So excuse like the setup and everything. So I have my Cricut design space open. And with that, I sent to printer. So I printed out a lip gloss case. I'm gonna print another one and show y'all. So this is what it looks like of me working. Here's your printer, here's your two HP Office Jet 3830. I'm not gonna add a bleed. And I'm gonna go ahead and count all of these. One, two, three, four, five. And I already have some made over here. We gotta, we gotta make it. As entrepreneurs, do not give up. Just keep on working. It should all come to pass. With this printer, there's something weird where like the Wi-Fi I have to be connected to the actual printer on the Wi-Fi. So at the top right, in order for it to start printing, it has its own Wi-Fi built in the printer. Go ahead and do that or it's not gonna print. I like to do multiple at one time. I have to keep on printing. I just change the quantity in Cricut Design Space. I'm just gonna go ahead and do seven today and then show y'all how I make the boxes. For my lip gloss box, I just have my name right here. My nourishing wear, glistening finish touch, softer lips. Um, then I have it in different languages, French and Spanish. And then I do have the swatch at the top. So it's super cute, super full of detail. You do want your lip gloss box to be super full of detail. When you go to Sephora, you looking at the box, that's what you wanna see. Whatever you're looking for, that's what, how you want your lip gloss box to look. It prints very fast too. So boom, we're almost done. Got my Cricut Air Square 2. That's about 350 for the machine, but it's all worth it because you don't have to go to vendors over and over and over and over. So with you investing in a printing machine, you save a ton of money. Although you're putting in more time and effort, you get your stuff quicker because you don't have to rely on other people to make your lip gloss boxes. Decided to do that and here's all my papers for today. We're done. I'm gonna actually turn her off because she's no longer needed. So let's go ahead and let's turn her off. Shut down. Shut down your devices. Good all the time. You don't just want to plug it out. So I make sure I shut it down and then I plug it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and put her elsewhere and grab my other Air Explorer. Attended for the Agricultural and Mechanical University and my financial aid funded my business. YouTube camera from there. Financial aid is basically student loans from the government based on your parents' income. So for this, you grab the construction paper and you put it in the left-hand corner. You align it from left to right. Make sure it's really lined up. You don't want to put it on the right side. It doesn't print out. It doesn't cut out really good. I'm not sure why it doesn't work like that, but I had to learn the hard way. I had tried it that way. And you do want to pay attention to this being at the top. And to load it, I just make sure it's under these white parts. I'm going to try to um, link it below. Probably I'm going to find like a similar one from my Amazon storefront so y'all can shop. And I like to change the material. So the custom material right here at the moment is construction paper. So I'm going to change the material on here. You can watch my other video to see um, how I do that. And then I do medium cardstock. You want to make sure it's the correct cardstock on there so it can make sure it like cuts it very good because sometimes I need to do more pressure or less pressure so after you do that you're gonna press the Cricut machine the C 
and there are lines on the computer that I'm showing y'all right now. That's where it's gonna do all the lines and it's also going to score as well. Scores, it's going to make sure that's the part where I can fold from my boxes. So it's gonna cut then score. This is how I have the machine set up in here. The lines are actually not on the flip flaws, it's on the Cricut Design Space. There we go. So you do need to make sure you do have a score pen or she's not gonna work. This score pen I got from Target. I got it separately. It didn't come in a set or anything. So this is what it does when it's scoring. So it's making like invisible lines for me to know where to fold it. There we go. Here's a close-up. Alright, so that's how that looks. Let me zoom in so y'all can see. So you see these score lines. I'm going to show you with this pen. Basically what it does is make these invisible lines on here. Sorry about the focus. It makes these invisible lines. So all of these lines on here is where I would fold the lip gloss case. So whenever you do a lip gloss box that's where you want the folds to be you do want to make sure you pull it from the back side so you pull the paper away and as you can see the lip gloss box came out so I'm gonna put it there. all right so this is the lip gloss box so let me put y'all back over there so y'all can see me fully so now that i've done that Here's a lip gloss box that we're gonna fold. Love to be very sanitary. I got these gloves from AutoZone. I like to crease all the parts that I showed y'all that's supposed to be scores. Right, now I'm gonna go in the middle. So these are all the outer corners that I folded that's going to go inside of the box. And the purpose of you pushing it down is that it could be a, a clean cut when you're folding it in. I have one more, which is the outer flap right here. Here's the box. So cute, right? Yeah. So after you do that, you want to make sure you use a tape runner. It's just a Scotch permanent tape runner. And to know where to put it is to close it first and see where it would need to be glued. Personally, for me, Mine's what needs to be glued on this outer ridge side. So I grab the tape runner and put the tape. Inner flaps go in. This part closes like so. And then I fold these bottom parts in and close it like so. The full box. And that's how you do that. So that's how I do that. It's nice and even, nice and flat, and boom, that's how I make my lip gloss boxes. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you do need additional help with making your own lip gloss box, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know your favorite part in this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.